Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Gemini February 1, 2023. The moon heads into your privacy sector for over two days, drawing your strong attention to behind the scenes, background, and private matters. It's a time of the lunar month for regrouping, and the moon's meeting with Mars later today lights a fire under you to take matters into your own hands. It's a great time to actively attend to your emotional health and downtime. Connecting with your inner world or intuition can be exciting. Feelings and desires are strong and perhaps surprising if they involve previously buried or overlooked matters. Charming fun and surprises await today. Our cosmic messenger, Mercury, stands within your solar house of relationships and will link in a trine to electric Uranus in your solar house of friendships, which could bring a lively introduction of someone new into your circle who may have staying potential. Don't hold back, as this could be an adventure of a lifetime. Open yourself to new connections. If committed, consider meeting up with your significant other and friends for a lively evening out on the town. Chance possibilities are the name of the game today. Be mindful of your internal monologue through your workday. Since the moon will be in mental Gemini, your subconscious might be going into overdrive throughout your workday. Some of your thoughts may err on the more frustrating side since the moon will conjunct Mars in Gemini. You will need to stay on top of your aggravations during the conjunction. Luckily, no one would be none the wiser given that you will come across as genial and enthusiastic in a professional setting since the moon will also sextal Jupiter in Aries. Days before they are due to clash as a full moon, the sun and moon are in harmony today and with it a chance to fuel your financial confidence, instincts and imagination ahead of time. This is thanks to a friendly aspect between the moon in an intuitive and imaginative part of your chart and the sun in your financial sector, but an alignment with Mars is also turning this into a call for action. You are going to feel very useful over the next few weeks. Useful to others but even more importantly vitally connected to your own life in a purposeful way. Give yourself what you need in terms of health and wellness in order to truly make the most of this period. The planetary configuration indicates a time to be thoughtful about what you put into your body, for you know that experiencing the consequences of what you eat is unavoidable. Perhaps you've never given this any thought but your work environment has a lot to do with your attitude and energy level while on the job. Color, plant life, and ornaments can all make your niche a far more energizing place to be for so many hours in a day. Use this day's creative juice to add some life to your workspace. You'd be surprised at how much of a difference it will make. While Mars is still in a nostalgic and reflective but also intuitive and imaginative part of your chart and the longest wind down to a two-year Mars cycle in eight decades still has another seven weeks to run, he is in direct motion and back on his track to return to Cancer. It is the Moon's alignment with Mars today that can inspire your imagination in a way that allows you to think outside the square and as the focus starts to shift from closing old doors and onto lining up for the new doors that by the end of March you will have access to. After a friendly aspect to both the Moon and Uranus in your friendship sector yesterday Mercury, the planet of communication has moved into his last full week in your relationship sector with confidence. Mercury returned for what is normally a 14 to 15 day visit in early December but in that time the Sun and Venus have moved through but he has stayed on, something you will continue to benefit from long after he leaves. Our eyes in the sky. The moon is in Taurus first thing in the morning before it makes its way into Gemini. When the switch happens, our thinking will be more philosophical and methodical. The moon in Taurus is very nurturing and hedonistic, while the moon in Gemini is a social butterfly who likes to party. Finding a balance between these juxtaposing energies might not be easy. Communication with others will be clear and concise. You will be able to get your point across with very little effort on your part. Write reports, make phone calls, and send emails. Every sort of communication is highly favored for you. You find outmoded conditions a bit of a challenge and circumvent the problems they throw up in the best way you can. 
Improve conversational skills get your point of view across and help you implement any necessary changes in a simple way. You develop new strategies to permanently solve issues, and take advantage of a departure from the accepted norm. You must realize that you cannot force issues. So, don't waste time chasing after things that ultimately do not meet your needs. You're inclined to act brashly without considering the implications for the people you value most. It's a good idea to take a long walk to set goals you can realistically achieve. You perceive your world in a new way, many things formerly concealed from you are now in the open, and you gain a fresh perspective. Share the products of your increased awareness with others. Take time to look after your health. An increased level of mental power lets you more easily recognize unhealthy habits. Your finances won't do so well today so be careful or you might suffer losses. Some people will try to take you for a ride. Be skeptical of advice others give you. Some of them could well be self-seeking and dishonest, thinking only of their own interests. Extensive goals you set yourself require strength and endurance. To improve your fitness regime, take every opportunity you can to be even healthier. Alter your eating habits and continually increase your endurance. Make plenty time to relax between sessions, only a person in peak condition delivers their best. Just after midnight, the moon enters Gemini, ending its void of course which began last night. Over the next two days, we leave behind stable and steady Taurus terrain for the curious and quick-witted sign of the twins. Here, we are in a constant state of analysis and re-evaluation, flitting from one enterprise to the next, eager to experience the diversity that life has to offer. This is an ideal lunar period for any activities involving speech or the written word. It is equally excellent for research, less so for weaving a cogent ideology from disparate bits of information. Make plans, but remain open to guidance and suggestions which others make. Eventually, you can add the finishing touches as required. Shared activities or trips could help to expand your horizons and help make new contacts. Don't be shy of confrontation, or rebuff constructive criticism. Otherwise, any exchange of views is a waste of time. After sunup, the moon squares off with Venus in Pisces, making us a bit lazy and lethargic. It is not that we are allergic to work, our attention is just more consumed with idle gossip or interpersonal drama. We're prone to distraction if someone forces us to sit in a chair, do monotonous work, and be an adult. This attitude can get us into trouble with a boss if they assume we are slacking off. However, it may be possible to charm them with your positive attitude, at least long enough to buy you an extension. Just don't push your luck.